Now, I'm sure you've heard that kibble is bad for dogs, but is this actually true? Well, if kibble is all you can afford, then it really doesn't matter, does it? But with that said, there are definitely some things about kibble that can potentially harm your dog. So let's look at the top three problems with kibble and how you can fix them with simple foods. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Okay, so one of the biggest problems with kibble is contaminants, especially the ones linked to cancer. In fact, the biggest issue in kibble today is a little mold called aflatoxin. Now, aflatoxin is a mycotoxin, and it's the most carcinogenic or cancer-causing substance in the natural world. So obviously, you really want to limit the amount that your dog eats. Now, mycotoxins grow on crops like corn, rice, nuts, and legumes. So the more of these starches that are in the food, the higher the risk of contamination. Now, the Consumer Council of Hong Kong tested 40 different pet foods here in the U.S., and they found that aflatoxin was in every single sample. And an animal health and nutritional company, Alltech, looked at over 900 pet food samples and they found that 98% of them were contaminated with one or more mycotoxins and 93% contained two or more. Now, the problem with aflatoxin in pet food is so widespread that Purina calls it an unavoidable natural contaminant. But that's not the only problem with the grains and legumes in kibble. Unless the kibble is organic, grains, and especially oats and legumes, are contaminated with a herbicide called Roundup. Now, the World Health Organization says that glyphosate, which is the active ingredient in Roundup, is likely to cause quite a few forms of cancer, but that's not the biggest problem. Glyphosate is also an antibiotic, so if your dog is eating foods with glyphosate, and he probably is, then he's eating antibiotics every single day. Now, over time, this can destroy the beneficial bacteria that live in his gut and control a big part of his immune system. Without a healthy gut balance, dogs can develop leaky gut, digestive issues, skin and joint problems, and even immune disease. And this is a real problem for dogs because dogs have 32 times more glyphosate in them than we humans and more than any other species in the world. So you have to do something about this. And by the way, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and our team is always happy to help out. Now, there's another reason why kibble isn't particularly good for dogs, and that problem is that kibble can be antioxidant poor. Now, antioxidants are little natural compounds that fight free radicals, which are a major cause of cell damage. Healthy organs need to be made from healthy cells. So antioxidants protect your dog from disease and premature aging by slowing the buildup of free radicals. Now, a lot of the ingredients that go in a kibble are rich in antioxidants, but only in their raw state. Heating kills about 95% of antioxidants, leaving your dog at risk for premature aging from free radical buildup. In fact, scientists in Belgium analyzed data from over 500 dogs and they found that statistically, dogs that eat fresh whole foods had a life expectancy of 32 months longer than dogs eating a processed diet. Now, 32 months is a long time for animals that only live 10 to 15 years. And by the way, if you like this video, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we're always happy to help you out. Okay, so let's recap the three biggest ways that kibble can harm your dog. First, it's almost always contaminated with mycotoxins and glyphosate, both of which can cause cancer. Now, glyphosate also messes with your dog's gut health by killing off the bacteria that are supposed to live there and support his gut lining and immune system. And third, there are very few antioxidants in the food to clean up the damage done by one and two. It's like pouring gasoline on an already pro-inflammatory diet. So what do you do to reduce the potential damage? Now, if you have the time and budget to feed a raw food diet, these problems go away. Raw diets don't contain the starches that are full of contaminants, plus the antioxidants in the food will be left intact. But if raw food isn't in your budget, then here are five really easy but important tips to make your dog's kibble healthier. 
first. You need to find a kibble with a relatively small amount of carbohydrate, which is the grains or legumes. I'll include a link in the comments to help you find one. The more carbs in the food, the more mycotoxin and the more glyphosate, so you want to keep it low. Second, try to find an organic food. Organic foods won't contain glyphosate, but they can still be really high in mycotoxins, so it's still important to keep the carbohydrates to a minimum. Third, add dark leafy greens and some berries to your dog's food. A study in Scottish Terriers showed that adding greens to the diet just three times a week or more reduced the risk of cancer by a whopping 70%. Greens and berries are a great source of those antioxidants that are destroyed when kibble is cooked. They put back in what the heat and processing take out. Fourth, add mushrooms. Look, cancer rates are really high in dogs, so it's important to do all that you can to reduce that risk. And mushrooms are an inexpensive way to do it. Now, researchers looked at 17 different cancer studies and they found that the more mushrooms in the diet, the lower the risk of cancer. And a study on dogs found that turkey tail mushrooms more than doubled the life expectancy of dogs with hemangiosarcoma, which is an aggressive form of cancer. Now, there's a few mushrooms you can choose from, and aside from turkey tail, look at reishi and shiitake, because these are good choices with cancer-fighting properties. And finally, give your dog probiotics. While glyphosate can destroy gut bacteria, probiotics and prebiotics can support healthy bacteria colonies. Now, one of the best probiotics for this job is a soil-based probiotic called Bacillus subtilis. While other probiotics might be damaged by the glyphosate or by the acids in your dog's stomach, this hardy little probiotic can form a protective shell and is much better at surviving and promoting the growth of healthy bacteria colonies in the gut. So the bottom line is kibble is like fast food. It might be delicious for your dog and it's convenient for you, but that convenience comes at a cost. But these five simple changes can help reduce some of the baggage that comes with kibble. And if you're ready to start making your own cooked or raw diets, then check the links here for easy to make recipes that are complete and balanced. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.